third law, make it easy. Walk slowly, but never backwards. On the first day of class, Jerry Yulesman, a professor at University of Florida, divided his film photography students into two groups. Everyone on the left side of the classroom would be the quantity group. They would be graded solely on the number of work they produced. Depending upon how many photos you actually have, you would have a higher grade. Meanwhile, everyone on the right side of the group will be in the quality group. They would be graded only on the excellence of the work. They would need to produce one photo in the semester, but in order to get an A, it had to be a nearly perfect image. At the end of the term, he was surprised to find that all the best photos were taken by the quantity group. During the semester, these students were busy taking photographs, experimenting with composition, lighting, testing out various methods in the darkroom, and learning from their mistakes. In the process of creating hundreds of photos, they improved their skills. Meanwhile, the quality group sat around speculating about perfection. In the end, they had little to show for their efforts other than unverified theories and one mediocre photo. The best is the enemy of the good. It does not matter how many books you read about healthy diet, you will actually have to eat healthy meals. It doesn't matter how many trainers you talk to or how many books you read or images you see about working out. It's the working out that will give you results. Forming habits. Repetition helps making habits. Initially, it's hard to speak a new language, learn a new instrument. But when you keep repeating a task, you strengthen the neural connections in the brain. You go from effortful practice to automaticity. The habit line, this is the habit line. So in the start, it requires a great deal of effort. Concentration, which is A. And then at point B, it's starting to get easier. And then you practice more and more. It becomes automatic when you cross the habit line at point C. Beyond, beyond the habit line, it becomes less of a conscious effort. How long does it take to build a new habit? Different researches show a different number based on the habit itself. It could take anywhere from 18 to 254 days. But the important thing that every study shows is repetitions are important. Repetition, repetition, repetition. Chapter Summary The Third Law of Behavior Change Make it easy. Most effective way of learning is practice, not planning. Focus on action. Repetition makes a behavior automatic. Number of times you perform a habit is more important than the number of time you actually spend on that habit.